What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17 beta 6 for registered developers one week after the release of beta 5. Now along with this iOS release, Apple also dropped beta 6 for iPadOS 17, watchOS 10, and tvOS 17. No macOS Sonoma updates just yet. So here's a look at the size of iOS 17 beta 6. It came in at just under 750 megabytes, so still a pretty large update we've seen a large update for pretty much every single beta on iOS 17 if we go ahead to our settings and check out the build number the new build is 21a 5312c so we do have a C at the end of the build number which means that we are getting close to a final release and then if we take a look at the modem firmware that remains at 2.08.01 for the 14 series so no update to the modem but we did go from a d to a c in the build number all right so now what's new here in ios 17 beta 6 and the first thing is perhaps apple's quickest response to negative criticism online and that is a change to the end call button on a phone call or FaceTime call. So on previous versions of iOS 17, the end button was over here on the right. And a lot of people, especially on social media, were basically saying how they hated this change. And it seems that Apple listened and they moved it to the bottom middle now, which I think is a great improvement. It looks a lot better than it did before where it was on the right hand side it was always kind of hard to press and just kind of awkward so i like this change there's also a change in the animation for music on the lock screen so if you tap on the album artwork you will notice there's a much smoother animation here on beta 6 compared to beta 5 where it kind of just popped up there quickly there's more of a smooth slow animation than what we saw previously I like this change as well if we head into our settings and go to display and brightness the glyph icons up top under appearance have finally been updated to reflect the iOS 17 wallpaper and also the font has the new iOS 17 font where it says 941 so on previous versions of iOS 17 and even in iOS 16 we had the iOS 15 wallpapers so Apple just completely skipped out on putting iOS 16 in this section and they jump from iOS 15 wallpaper to iOS 17 which is pretty funny and we have that same change if you go into display zoom you can see it a little bit bigger right here a change in the time and also on the wallpapers and even the color of the icons on the home screen are a little bit different if we head into the screen time section and settings and then to screen distance we have a change to the verbiage underneath now it just says a recommended distance instead of saying too close for an extended period of time we have a couple of changes inside of the messages application so now when you tap and hold on the plus icon to the left of the text box it automatically pulls up your photos right here where before if you tapped and held on that it did nothing at all it would just bring up the menu after you let go and if you go into that menu you will notice that cache is now Apple cache that has been changed and if you have the Giphy application installed you will notice that it now shows up under your apps right here whereas before it was kind of hidden within the sticker so you'd have to go into your sticker section right here and you'd see it up top in the phone application if you go to the voicemail tab you will notice up top we have a new option for carrier voicemail where you can call your carrier's voicemail before that was just simply not an option there's also a new splash screen in the photos application when you open it up for the first time so nothing is new here but it does kind of outline some of the new features in ios 17 so it says albums in the photos widget pets albums pinch to crop and more customizable memories there's also a new diagnostic image for the apple watch with this update now as far as any bugs go i didn't really notice any bugs after installing ios 17 beta 6 i did notice that when i went to create a new wallpaper like if i would go right here and add new it did hang a little bit it took a while for these to load up also my widgets had this really weird white outline around them so if i went to my widgets right here they had a really weird white outline they took a little bit to populate but they populated so there's no issue there with the widgets it was just kind of slow to begin with but overall beta 6 in terms of bugs I don't really see any I will be monitoring the keyboard bug in the messages application unfortunately the 
bug with notification center as you can see is still there that's going to be there till ios 21 but yeah so far things are looking good but taking a look at the release notes you can see that things are probably going to get even better because we have a lot of resolved issues here so i'm not going to read through every single one of them but i will leave this linked down in the description below if you want to take a look at all of the documentation for beta 6 but you will notice pretty much right once you load this up that there are way more resolved issues than known issues at least compared to previous release notes so a lot of resolved issues for airplay we have a lot of resolved issues for safari and messages just a lot of them in here so that is a good good sign i did also want to point out one resolved issue here because it actually just happened to me before this video and that was on my beta 5 device my main device and that is that voicemail notifications would play a sound even if your device was set to silent mode so that has been fixed with beta 6. Now, as far as the performance goes, at least in terms of raw performance, not just, you know, graphical performance, like with the notification center bug, I would expect it to be better here with beta 6, just given the fact that we have a lot of resolved issues and also given the fact that we have a C at the end of the build number. So let's wait for this Geekbench 6 test to conclude and I will compare those results to beta 5. So we scored a 2635 on the single core and a 6732 on the multi core. And compared to the first run on beta 5, you can see slightly lower on both scores, but pretty much the exact same. You're not really going to be able to tell a difference between these two just based on these scores now as far as the battery life goes you guys will have to go back to the beginning of the video and let me know what I started this video at because that's really kind of the best way at least at first to tell if the battery life is better or worse than the previous version but overall I think that battery life is most likely going to be about the same as beta 5 it could improve but we did see a pretty big jump going from beta 3 to beta 4 and then another jump from beta 4 to beta 5 so we could see battery life improvements but you know I will let you guys know in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday after I've used the software for a couple of days. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is going to be iOS 17 beta 7. And since we are now on a weekly release schedule, as we talked about and prepared you for last week, I would expect to see beta 7 next week on the week of August 21st. So Apple has been sticking to the Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So I would expect to see it on the 22nd or the 20th. Third. Now that is also the day that we should see macOS Sonoma beta 6. So it looks like macOS Sonoma is still on a two week release schedule right now. So that means that it's probably going to release after iOS 17, you know, the final version when it comes out in September. So just know that if you're running macOS betas, you are still on a two week release schedule, at least for now. And then after beta 7, it's really hard to say what's going to come next because we could see beta 8 on the week of the 28th or Apple could skip that week and potentially even the next week and then release an RC on the week of September 11th. So of course, we'll have to wait and see what happens, but I will keep you guys updated in my Apple Den newsletter and also in my Apple Weekly series here on YouTube. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more iOS 17 videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.